Hi folks, Philip Andrews here from the Elements team and I just wanted to show you in this session how fantastically easy it is to make adjustments to your video clips inside Premiere Elements 11. Take this sequence here where it's been shot using a small camera just wrapped around the microphone, the performer singing into the microphone. It's slightly underexposed and the color's not terrific. Contrast isn't great either. And we can quickly and easily adjust that by just dragging that image into the quick editing room. You can see we've got it selected here in the workspace and then going over and clicking on the adjust options in the panel on the right hand side. Select the video clip and then we've got a range of different options that appear. Smartfix provides a quick overall adjustment to the video or you can go through and select color, lighting and temperature and tint separately under their particular headings. So let's look at color to start with. You see how it's broken up into hue, lightness, saturation and vibrance. We have thumbnails here that we can click to make adjustments based on those particular thumbnails. We can click on auto color and it will make an adjustment based on an automatic adjustment to the image and any changes that you make are applied across the whole of the sequence. You'll notice we also have a little icon in the top right hand corner here letting us know that we've actually made some adjustments to our image. If our adjust panel is not displayed and we click on that adjust icon on the video sequence you'll see how the adjustments panel opens up and we have a little green marker here to let us know that we've actually made a change in this panel. You can always go back over the changes that you've made by just clicking reset, bringing the video clip back to its original. So let's just go and adjust the saturation. We'll just click auto color for that. Once we've done with that, let's go down and look at the lighting now. And we can choose to adjust auto levels and auto contrast. And that's looking pretty good. The contrast is now much better. And we can do some manual exposure changes. So we can either click through the individual thumbnails that we have here, if we click on the more button at the bottom of the panel, you'll see that we've got some slider adjustments that we can manually adjust the things like the brightness and the contrast individually and also exposure. So we can get a more customized result by just selecting the more button and using the slider controls. And finally we have temperature and tint. Using temperature and tint we can make some changes to the color temperature of the video, especially if it's been shot under things like household bulbs or even something like candlelight. We can remove some of the warmth or yellow in the video by simply selecting a bluer thumbnail. Or I prefer to actually go straight to the slider controls and with temperature, you'll notice if we move to the right, the image becomes warmer. If we move the temperature slider to the left, you'll see that it becomes cooler. Tint is on the red-green spectrum, so to the left, the image becomes more green. To the right, it becomes more red. So that's mostly used if we're shooting under fluorescent strip lighting. So there's some really quick ways that you can make adjustments to your images using the Adjustments panel. That's available with the Adjust button on the right-hand side of the workspace. Now let's take a quick look at one other area where people want to make quick changes to their videos. In particular, how to montage together several different video clips. You can see here that we now have three video clips sitting in the timeline. And that when we select the video clip, you'll see that we get a blue line around the outside of the clip. Also, we get little handles on the left and right hand sides, and we can use these to adjust the in and out points of our clips. If you have a look at the preview, when I'm dragging those handles, you will see a preview of the cut point. Plus, you'll also see, in this case on the left-hand side, the clip that comes before the one that I'm adjusting. So it's a very simple matter when you want to change the start and end points of a clip. And once you've made a couple of those changes, you'll notice that we have an icon here in the top right-hand corner of the clip to indicate that you've trimmed the clip. Remember, at any time, you can change the sequence of clips by just clicking and dragging them around the timeline. So you can see how simple it is to trim the video clips that you have in your composition.